Yesterday, I showed you all how to get an unbreakable master sword glitched into the game in Tears of the Kingdom. This is the real master sword from the prologue of the game, and it comes unbreakable. It's a special sword made for that particular moment in the game, and it has all those special properties. So you can smuggle it through the prologue into your main game. If anyone's new here watching this video and you want to get your hands on it, I will leave this video linked in the description and also at the end so you can click into it for your convenience to check it out. This video, however, is how to make that Master Sword more powerful. So here we have my MSG Not Found. That is the Master Sword from the prologue, believe it or not. And yes, this sword comes completely 100% unbreakable. It does have 30 attack, which is normal for the Master Sword. So what people were asking me since I uploaded that video yesterday is, can I fuse things to this sword? Well, you can't fuse things like normal to it. You'll have to do something a little special, which I'm going to show you in this video, uh, that will allow you to fuse things to it. So here you can see, you cannot fuse anything to this glitched sword. However, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new version of this right here, right now. It's going to take a couple of seconds and we are going to be able to fuse things to it. Let's have a look at how that works. First of all, you want to make sure you have the glitched unbreakable master sword equipped. Also make sure he's holding it out in his hand like this. Let's go stand against any straight wall in the game, guys. This will work anywhere. Just make sure it's a straight wall like this and stand about this distance from the wall. This will be ideal. It doesn't have to be too exact because you're going to see how it works in a sec. Let's go ahead and hit plus. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop five weapons and then the Master Sword. So any five will do. It can be shields as well, or bows. That's four, five, and then finally the Master Sword, six. We're going to equip a new weapon. Any weapon will do. We're going to hit plus twice very fast, similar to the glitches we've been doing recently, which is going to close and open the menu very quickly, like this. And we're going to drop the new equipped weapon and we're going to equip something else. And we're going to do plus plus again. And this is where it's worked. You can see these icons loading very slowly. We can equip the Master Sword once again and get out of the pause menu. Let's just pick up this stuff. So you know it's worked perfectly fine when we put away the weapon with B. It stays in his hand like that, all right? So it's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, it just stays in his hand. So next up, we're going to equip a different weapon. Let's go ahead and equip a weapon that you can fuse something to. This will do. And then we're going to drop the material we want to fuse to the Master Sword. So it can be absolutely anything you want to fuse to the Master Sword to make it more buff. Solar Construct Horn is kind of all I already got here. We're going to drop that. We're going to fuse that to the Soldier's Broadsword. And then we're going to drop the Soldier's Broadsword that we just fused, which is this. Drop that. And voila, we have a Master Sword. Okay, this is a brand new Master Sword, and this time it's not called MSG. It's called the Master Sword, Revitalized Sword of Power, and it has its buff from the item I just fused, which is... 33 now, we can actually have a look at it in here. You can see it's the Soldier's Broadsword plus Soldier's Constrict Horn, giving me 33 damage. The Soldier's Broadsword does not have that kind of damage. You still have your MSG not found, but now you have an unbreakable fused Master Sword. This sword cannot break, it just does not break ever, no matter what. You'll be able to use this indefinitely. You can do it again to fuse something different if you want and make it even more powerful when you get those items. So yeah, this is free game right now. This is how you do it. Now, just a word of warning. If you are getting a game crash, for example, it might, it's, it's likely it's going to be the item because I was actually trying this with bomb flowers and it didn't let me do it. The game just crashed, sadly. But you will be able to do it with regular fusing items that will make your sword super strong. You will be able to make like a 100 damage unbreakable weapon from this. And that is how you do it. Super cool. So just, just to show you guys some details here. We do have this Master Sword, but it says it's a thick stick now. It said it's a thick stick. It's changed. That, that, it did say broadsword before, didn't it? It did. <laughs> So what that says there doesn't matter because the thick stick you guys will know well damn well It's not 30 damage. It's the sword itself. Anyway, that is it very short very easy guide on how you can fuse items to make your indestructible master sword much more powerful 
and just enjoy that for the rest of the game. So I recommend some of the items you'll get from really hard enemies, like a silver lionel horn or something. It's just going to be nuts. You're going to be super powerful. So enjoy that. You can fuse whatever. You can also fuse elemental things to make it into like a fire master sword or whatever you like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, have a good one. Bye.